Okay then Bob, what I'm going to show you uh, now is just uh, the opening or a couple of opening techniques for a basic uh, Old English style lever padlocks. Okay, I've got a padlock here, this is just a four lever lock and just so you can see the inside of the lock, this one why I'm holding on the plate is because I've actually removed the front so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, so that just allows us to see into the actual guts of the lock. Okay, so just to zoom in a bit so you can see what's going on here. Okay, now, as you can see, like I say, it's just a basic type of le uh, lever lock. Uh, we've got our le uh, the levers themselves, just here. We've got our first lever at the front, then we've got another three behind that, hence a four lever lock. Uh, we have our lever fences, just here, and then we have our bolt stump, just here. Obviously, the bolt stump sits just in front of them fe uh, fences, and the bolt sits right at the back uh, of the lock here. And the bit that we're interested in is just up here, because it's this part of the bolt here that actually locks in to the shackle. Because the shackle, if I just take that off, you can see how it has this groove or slot cut in there, and it's that slot there that sits on that bolt, and hence we can't open the lock. It's not until that bolt has passed through under the fences, retracted, and then the shackle will be free to open. Okay, so just to show you what that looks like with the key, and hopefully nothing's going to pop out here. Let's zoom in a touch more. Okay, so I've got the correct key here. The key goes in. Obviously, we've just got a pin there to accept um, a pipe type key. The key goes in as I turn. Now that key blade now starts to make contact with the lever pack as I continue to turn that now starts to lift the lever pack to its correct height actually it doesn't because I've actually inserted the wrong key okay so it lifts the lever pack to its correct height the bolt stump is then free to pass underneath the fences the lever pack resets and now you can see the bolt here has slid out of the groove in the shackle hence unlocking the same when we lock off, so the lever pack lifted, bolt stump passes through, slider there now slides through the shackle and again is now locked off. Okay, so when we come to pit this type of lock the idea is that hopefully we can apply some sort of tension onto this part of the bolt here, at the same time use a pick to go in and lift through the pack to the correct height so the bolt stump can pass through under the fences. The actual technique that I'm going to use here is firstly I'm just going to remove the shackle so you can see the actual back of the bolt here. Okay, this is the part that we're interested in just here. Is simply using a little bit of spring steel in this case. Some people uh, like to use hacksaw blades etc that are cut down and shaped. I just tend to use just a bit of spring steel like so. Okay. Spring steel has just been chamfered or filed, okay, just to make it slightly thinner. Okay, you can't use such a thin gauge that it has no strength. And the idea here is that this bit of spring steel will slide down behind the shackle, down into the lock case, and it then allows me, just make sure that's pushed in, to apply tension onto that bolt. And you can see it's slightly pushed back. So as soon as I do that and I have tension on, that in turn is going to push that stump onto whichever fence is, is in the most contact with. Once I've got that tension applied, I then going to go in with my pick. And what my pick is, is basically just a pipe key of the right gauge. Okay. And all I've done is create one upstand right at the end here because that will act as my pick. And the height of the upstand simply represents approximately the height of the keyway because that will ensure that I get any high lifts or full lifts on the pack that need that. Okay so I'm going to open this up in situ hopefully nothing will spring out because obviously it's not being held in but you quite often find once it actually opens I tend to lose one or two lead, one or two of the first levers in the lock. Notice as well I'm doing this without the, sh uh, without the shackle just so you can see this uh, bolt slide past. Okay, so my pick goes in. 
I'd bring that round onto the first lever of the lock. Okay, and I start to pick through. And what I'm looking for is the lever that has resistance. See how this one has no resistance? So I move on to number two. No resistance. On to number three. Okay, slight resistance. You can see how it's not dropping all the way back down. On to number four. Lifts, but now I felt a slight give. Make sure they stay in. Okay, and you see how that fourth one at the back is staying where I lifted it to. Back to number one. Still full lift. Number two, little click there and it's staying where I lift it to. Back to number three. Okay, it's got lift. Back to number one. Not just there, and that's now lifted to the correct height. So if I continue to pull back on my tension bar, you can see how the stump is now free to pass through and that lock would now be open. Okay, and just to put all that into one on a lock that hasn't been split, I'm just going to pop a lock in here. Okay, exactly the same type of lock. Just zoom out a bit. I'm just going to lock this off with the key. Make sure I've got the right key, I can't remember now because I've got a cut note. Wrong key again. Too many keys. Lock that off. So now that's locked. So, tension tool is simply going to slide down behind the back of the shackle, down into the lock case, and I can feel and I can bring that onto that bolt. Next, I'm going to go in with my pick. Go in, leave, bring the pick or the upstand right to the front of the lock. So I'm underneath number one. And you can see how that's springy. So I'm going to continue through. Nice bit of give there. Okay, so I'm just going through, feeling for that resistance. Back to number one. Nice bit of give there. Very nice there. So I've probably got one more to get, just there. Okay, and that allows me now to bring back that bolt, hence the lock opens. Okay, and just if you ever want to see where your tension tool should sit, the best thing to do is to actually open up the lock, okay, then what you can do is actually look inside. So i.e., when I look inside there, when I use the actual key, I'm going to get the bloody wrong key again, I know it, when I use the key, just get that zoomed in, you can see the lever pack inside the lock. Now when I lock it off, I knew it, I got the wrong key. I'm not going to do all this again, just so I got the right key. Now when I turn that, you should see that bolt come across, you see that? Just there. And that's what was slide into the opening of the shackle. When I retract, you see the bolt move back. So if need be, that's what you do when you're trying to learn how to open one of these, is gauge where your tension tool would sit, okay, and what would suit best, i.e. the shape, the gauge, okay, like I say, some people make them out of hacksaw blades, okay, there's no right and wrong way, okay, whichever way works is the right way, okay, but that's just a little tip just to see where things sit, how the lot works, etc. Okay, that's just part one.